What's up guys, BTM boy back at you with another video and today guys I'm back again with the latest Rockstar update and they've literally guys yo it was just the other day I was saying they ain't gonna be bringing nothing to us till like September times but yo I wake up yeah and I don't know if this update come yesterday, today, I'm not actually 100% sure when it come but it's here and it basically says that Red Dead Online update is coming soon on the Rockstar website featuring three unique roles, the bounty hunter, the trader and the collector guys so just as we was doubting in Rockstar, this is what I was saying, these companies, Illuminati, they know what they're doing yeah they basically leave us sitting in the dark so they can drop a teaser like this guys and then uh, a few weeks later they drop the actual thing so this is from this point now this is the first the first cross in the stone or whatever you call it this is the first piece of evidence that rockstar are actually doing some shit for us guys so it still might be like september times i'm not gonna lie it still might be september times so if you think about it guys it's august now september's not long away so it would only be like sort of a six to eight week wait from now before the actual update comes out that makes sense so I still believe it might be sort of end of September. However, at least we've got the first little trickle of real evidence, guys, that something's coming. And it seems to be that they've, they've given us some of the, or they seem to be giving us some of the things that the community has been asking for, guys. So, so Rockstar says, later this summer, the world will evolve again with the introduction of specialist roles, unique paths of progression, each providing their own experience with tailored gameplay elements, benefits, which will allow players to become even more deeply connected to the characters, the choices they make as they inhabit the world of Red Dead Online. This fundamental change points to a long-term future in Red Dead Online, a world where players coexist in uneasy peace, choosing to band together or strike out alone, fighting to survive in a world full of threats and opportunities as they build a life for themselves on the frontier. So basically, that's basically the opening to this update, guys. So like I said, you're gonna have the bounty hunter, a trader, and a collector. For the bounty hunter, guys, for those who don't know what a bounty hunter is, he's a guy who gets paid to run out in the fields, shooting down runaway slaves and, and runaway prisoners and things of that nature. So Rockstar basically says, become a bounty hunter for a life of constant action on both sides of the law. A licensed bounty hunter can track down targets, capture and or kill, depending on the hon how honorable you are as a player. Um, occasionally a nearby online player who has a high enough bounty can be a target also progression will unlock special items like reinforced lasso for extra tough targets as well as intricate gun spinning tricks and advanced tracking skills like ability to use eagle eye while sprinting galloping on horseback and many other special skills as well items and upgrades guys so that's basically a quick overview of the bounty hunter guys so i'm sure there'll be a lot more around that that will release in the next coming updates over the next few weeks but literally that sounds exciting enough as it is the fact that you can actually be a designated bounty hunter is is pretty cool i'm pretty sure if you think about rockstar as a business it makes sense why they they probably had this concept in mind before we even started asking for things okay so i believe they've had this concept probably there and it's almost like when they release games nowadays they release a piece of game you get me and the rest of the game they basically give us for, uh, over the years to come so the next role you can be guys is a trader which is basically where you can you can have a business and buy and sell things which is mad i was talking about this the other day like we need to be able to sell things to stop people from running around just capping people for no reason the life of a trader is perfect for bear going capitalists as you establish and develop a business from your camp this is what we wanted guys thanks to your trusty companion crips knowledge of fur skins and butchery you'll be able to take on new opportunities to collect materials and produce valuable goods to sell increasing your skill as a trader unlocks the ability to upgrade your camp with a weapons locker stew pot and even allow any canine companion to warn off impending attacks on the camp as your business expands you can gain new skills improve your satchel or add new assets to your business like hunting weapons to bring in bigger hauls and much more which is mad guys honestly rockstar did they have been listening because they've given us hints there that they're going to allow us to have a dog whether we can take it on hunting with us i don't know but it's going to be our companion at least at the camp so the community was asking for dogs although we wanted them to hunt if they're going to have them allow us to have them at the camp i don't see why they're you know what I mean? There's opportunity there to do more things with it, I believe. Um, and on top of that, guys, they're saying as you improve your business, you're going to be able to get hunting wagons and things, which is what we were talking about. So you can get bigger hunting halls. You can go out on a full-on hunting ting and fill up your wagon and make a shit ton of money, guys. This is 
exactly what Red Dead Redemption needs right now. We need meaning in our online lives, you get me? We can't just be running around out here like lost souls slicing each other. The last role you can play, guys, in this upcoming update is a collector, which is a bit of a strange one. Um, but it also sounds pretty cool. Collectors, basically, I think their way of saying kind of like a, a little bit of a sneak thief, you get me? A collector loves to explore the world for rare and valuable items. Look for a mystic traveling saleswoman in the wild to get started down the collector's path, searching for lost jewelry, rare owl heads, and other treasures to sell as individual pieces or high valuable assets. As you progress, you will gain access to tools that help your search, including refined binoculars, a horse, a horse lantern, and even a metal detector, as well as gaining additional skills to help you seek discover the world's greatest rarities. So basically that's the collector guys, is literally someone who's scavenging around for little bits and bobs, probably robbing the odd settler. Rockstar goes on to say, as you grow into each role, it will evolve and shape your experience within the world and the characters around you, showing other players how far you've progressed down the path of each specialist role. You'll also be able to play and progress across all three roles simultaneously, or choose to apply your trade in just the role you want to. There's much more to reveal about becoming a bounty hunter, trader and collectors in the coming weeks ahead, Rockstar says. So guys, this isn't the end of it, this is just the beginning. So, there's a lot of excitement to be had here. I'm kind of like, yo, it can either be extremely good or it's just gonna be an annoying little side feature which doesn't really add much benefit. But the fact that they've said you can have like, and I'm specifically pointing at the trader role, the fact that you can have like wagons and stuff to get like larger hauls tells me that the the planning on doing this legit, guys, they're gonna really give us something here and I hope they do because not only will it set Red Dead Redemption up for the future, it's going to allow me to have fun whilst playing the game and making content for you guys, you get me? So that's literally what they plan to do and I wanted to get this video to you guys as fast as possible so that you can stay up to date with the latest news and the last little piece of, the, the last little piece of this week's update guys is additional enhancements. Across the board changes are being made to combat movements to allow for a more responsive control system that still, feel, that still feels natural. Additional damage reduction to defensive players is also on the horizon and the game will now remember your preferred playing style offenses or offensive or defensive when you exit and relaunch the game. So that's pretty cool. There will also be a lot more lootable items found throughout the world like um, the containers that you get on back of wagons guys as well as yo this is mad as well as the occasional gold tooth found on the unfortunate soul so when you clap a fool you're gonna be able to dig around in his gums and find his little fillings and that and take them and melt them down and sell them the next red dead online update will also feature the ability to reset your character's appearance and much much more this update is either a sign of one or one or two things you get me either basically leading us on for the next months to come or whatever and this is just them basically making sure we don't go nowhere or they really are going to be releasing this over the next week or two i think it's going to be more close towards the end of september just let me know what you guys think down there let me know what you guys think about about this update period because i'm excited for it and i know i'm pretty sure you guys are excited for it especially the bounty hunter and the trader role the collector role seems a little bit um, a little bit strange, but I don't know. That you literally it just sounds like they, they should have just made like a thief type of role, like you go around just scavenging for shit. You get me? Basically, that sounds like what that is. You get me? So hopefully, guys, next week's update is something to be excited for. But like I said, they released the update on Tuesday. This Tuesday just gone, but then they've released another one. Let me see. It says August the second. It's the second today, isn't it? Yeah. So guys, this update's come out today. So, I don't know if this video is going to be with you guys on the day this comes out or it'll be with you the day after. It depends when I manage to get it rendered and uploaded. But, so, they've released an update on Tuesday and then a couple days later they've released this guy. So, there's no reason why they'll even follow their actual Tuesday schedule to release the next update in regards to this, the, the new roles. So, that's pretty cool guys. So, I hope you guys are excited for that. Just let me know what you think, like I said. But other than that, guys, um, leave a thumbs up in the video if you appreciate the news that I just brought you. Subscribe to the channel so you can become a part of the official Menace Squad. You get me and don't miss out on my future videos. I've been posting daily at the minute. I generally post regular, but literally for the last week, I've been posting like daily, guys. So be sure to stick around for that. Let me know what you want to see on the channel. You get me? And I'll be bringing, bringing more videos around these new roles, guys. Trust me. Stay tuned to the channel. Other than that, guys, I'll see you in tomorrow's video. You get me? And we out.